And it's Labor Day weekend, so you know there are tons of things to do across Northeast Ohio from Cleveland to Canton. So let's go NEO. You know our News 5's Nadine Abusada. She's at one of the hottest spots right now. Nadine, what's going on? Well, I think the music speaks for itself. People are eating and having a good time. You know, when you go to these Greek festivals, they're usually put on by a church, but this specific one was put on by a club, not just so they could get a taste of Greece, but a taste of Crete. This weekend we're having a festival. At this Greek fest. This is all the way over here. This is our 11th year. John Elliott in the George Burrow Cretan Club. Opa! Opa! <laughs> are bringing the dance. One, two, three. We learned this stuff from an early age and we continue on to teach it to our other, you know, now you teach it to everybody, everybody right else, right? Course. Absolutely. Along with the food. I had slow roasted lamb shanks. That's been in the oven for about three hours now. Our cream sauce and it has uh, noodles and meat sauce, sauteed meat. That comes an assortment of ways. Ooh, look at the grape leaves. So this is all stuffed grape leaves ready to be cooked. Shaved. Gonna grab a piece of cheese, flour it up, make sure it's coated real good. Oil up a little bit. Lit on fire. Opa! That's pretty good, huh? It really is. Or just simply sweet. Our ladies come in here months ahead of time and make wow. this amazing baklava. That's a quality. Honey, That's how you know. nuts, cinnamon, brown mm -hmm. sugar, and phyllo dough. On the beef. John is the president of the club and he grew up Greek and all those traditions were instilled. It came from both my mom and my dad. You know, it was passed down perfect from generation. <laughs> but it wasn't just about being Greek. You got it. It was about being Cretan. When my mom married my dad, she actually became Cretan, and she's been the, the largest Cretan of all. And proud of it. They showed us the way, and, you know, we're just taking it and moving it to the next generation. We're pushing the needle, kick forward. So for John and his family, this festival is an opportunity to keep pushing that needle. I want them to have a sense of, hey, they, they came into our home. We, we welcomed them in. We showed them our philoxenia, which is our, our warmth, our gathering. And give people a taste. Mmm. Oh, my God. Opa! Straight from Crete. That's mm -hmm. what we'll call it. Greek cheese love on a, in a pan. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> so Ready? do we say opa? We can say opa. Opa! Opa! Safe to say we ate a lot of food, but I'm standing here with a special guest. John, who do we have next to you? Oh, we have my wonderful mother, our matriarch of our Cretan Club of Cleveland, Ray Elliott. Ray, you don't look a day over 91, or a day, uh, you don't look a day over 91. You look, you look less than 24, right? I don't want to be 21. I'd rather be 24. But thank God I'm living for to be 21, and I enjoy every bit of this festival, and I have a great time. Okay, so you've been a part of it since the beginning. You've been a part of this club for so long. You've passed down these traditions. What do you want people to take away when they come here and get a taste of your culture? I want people to take with them when they leave the music with their heart and soul, the delicious food that is presented by the Cretan Association, and to be here all the time and, and have good health, and God bless us all for being together. Oh. I, I gotta give you a hug. Thank you so much, Ray. Guys, you can come here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come see these beautiful faces and this amazing food. Okay, are we gonna go over there and start dancing? Well, I guess so. Let's go dance. Let's go dance. I'm gonna just farewell. I'm gonna let you guys hang it from here, and we're gonna go dance over there. Remember, if you're looking for something good to do this weekend, this is the place to be. All right, let's go. Oh, no, we're starting. Okay, wait. Well, there's no music.